Hey guys, it's your girl Vanessa Sumino. Welcome back to my channel and thank you guys all so much for tuning in again. So as you guys know, I just moved so everything is still in boxes guys. So bear with me and I just wanted to apologize to you guys for my uploads being really slow because of that. Just because moving was a bit more of a time consuming process than I imagined. So if you guys are interested to see a little bit of the moving process, I have videos coming up on my vlog channel, which is linked down below. However, for today's reading, it's going to be all about this week as I wasn't able to upload my usual schedule on the weekend due to moving. But I'm here today to let you know about all of the unexpected things happening for you for the rest of this week. Well, I have four groups prepared for you and I would like you to pick one of the four groups intuitively. So just let your intuition guide you in order to make the right choice for you. As usual, the timestamps will be linked down below as well as tons of other things that might be interesting to you. So make sure that you check out that description box and make sure that you subscribe to my channel while you're at it and give this video a thumbs up if you found it insightful and helpful. So as you guys know, I like to keep my intros very short and to the point so we can get straight into the readings. Hey guys, and welcome to today's reading. So I have four groups prepared for you. This is group number one, group number two, group number three, and group number four. So I would like you to pick one of the four groups intuitively. If you need a minute just to meditate on the cards, feel free to do that right now. Otherwise, I'm going to get straight into the readings with group number one. If you need a minute just to meditate on the cards, feel free to do that right now. Otherwise, I'm going to get straight into the readings with group number one. Okay, group number one. Let's see what the universe has in stock for you this week. Okay, so first off, we have the Chastolite as well as the Tourmaline. So what I see for you this week is that past loved ones are going to be sort of important in your life. So I feel like maybe you will have this reoccurring sort of theme of somebody who has passed away, somebody who was close to you. See, this can be a person, it can also be a pet that you lost. And I see that um, they might show up in this week more than usual and past loved ones might be sort of a subject that is a bit more important this week than in other weeks. And I see that what could really help for you on an emotional level is smudging and sort of clearing your space from any sort of negative energy in order to invite good memories of past loved ones in. So make sure that you take the time to cleanse yourself, cleanse your surroundings, and invite sort of good energy in, even if it does have to do with loss and sort of the pain of that memory because I can tell that connecting with your emotions is really going to be beneficial for you and it's really going to get you on a track where you feel a bit more whole than you have recently and um, you're going to feel sort of guided and you're going to feel that energy from the past presence if you know what I mean from the past person you know how humans animals their presence has a sort of energy and I see that it's going to be with you this week. In the High Priest, I can tell that your intentions and how you set them, as well as how you go on to create your dream world is very important this week. So I feel like maybe you have intentions for your life, maybe you have goals, but you have not properly sort of set those intentions, you haven't properly manifested, and um, it's sort of, keeping you, holding you back a little bit from properly creating, as well as just feeling the love. So I definitely feel like one thing that you need to focus on this week is to allow yourself to feel loved and is allow yourself to be loved. So I feel like maybe you have a little bit of a guard up and the shield maiden tells me that, you know, it's important for you to make plans and focus and to sort of only use that shield for necessary things you know only use that shield to protect yourself when it comes to for instance your work when it comes to your finances but on an emotional level i want you to drop the shields and i want you to really let the energy of past loved ones into your life or back into your life and to know that it's okay to let yourself be loved to know that it's okay to feel love because I see that 
you're somebody who may be a little bit shy or who may sometimes feel like maybe they don't truly deserve all the attention and all the love but you need to remember that you're still human you know you still need love you're deserving of love and um what you need right now this week is to really focus on your plans and make sure that you have the highest intentions set on only good so that is what i see as important for you this week okay group number two let's see what the universe has in stock for you okay so we have the brutalated quartz as well as the turquoise so what i see is very important this week for you is to regain balance in your home so i feel like maybe recently you haven't been treating your home as the sacred space that it is and with sort of like the energy that you should give this very precious space and maybe you haven't been keeping it as neat as you'd like to maybe you haven't been cleaning it as often maybe you've just sort of been neglecting your home space and you've been going out a lot and sort of just closing the door behind you and just thinking you know i'll deal with this later but i see that it's very important for you this week to come back into balance back into a healthy balance because i see that there is some sort of imbalance in your home so you might want to look into sort of like feng shui and different ways of creating the most efficient atmosphere in your home and the most welcoming atmosphere as well as the atmosphere that will leave you feeling the most balanced and just as if you know it is a space where you're safe where you can recharge and sort of regain your strength And in the Protection Guardian, I can see that it's important for you to sort of drop your shields. It's important for you to sort of, you know, just let people in, just let different situations happen because I feel like maybe recently you've had sort of a guard up, maybe you've had your shields up and um, you've sort of been saying no a lot. So try and turn every no into a yes. If somebody asks you to go out and do something, if somebody asks you for help, try to, instead of thinking about it, just go with a bit more yeses in your life, if you know what I mean. As, um, again, with balance, I can tell that something may have been out of balance in your life recently, and the universe is now trying to tell you that it's important for you to get back into balance. And you have to do this by yourself. There is nobody else who can get you back into balance but yourself. And that is why the Lord is showing up because the universe is trying to tell you to take charge with authority and you need to sort of be authoritative when it comes to taking charge of your own life and your own decisions as well as creating balance in your life. Because if you do not create balance in your life, nobody else will. And nobody else is able to do that even if they wanted to so i want you to keep in mind that you know your home is sacred and and it's important for you to make sure that you're not too guarded that you're not trying to protect yourself from things that you do not need protection from as you know your guardian angel is showing up in your reading today telling you that you're not alone and there's no reason for you to ever feel alone and if you've sort of been feeling a little bit isolated recently, you must know that the universe is here with the best intention for you and it's important for you to not close off to the world all because you sort of feel a little bit alone or you feel like you're standing by yourself. It's important to not let the world harden you to a point where it's out of balance, where you're sort of um, overly protective of yourself and where it's hard for you to let anybody in you know that is imbalanced and it's not healthy and furthermore the universe wants you to know in the spirit fox that this week is a great week for you to believe in yourself to believe in your talents and to believe that anything any difficult situation that you sort of have in life you can overcome it you just need to trust in your abilities capabilities and also your talents so this week I definitely see you needing to take the lead in your life as well as make some changes in your home, you know, clean up, declutter, give yourself that extra time at home to really make it a sacred space, a space that, you know, you really feel comfortable in and you can recharge in as well as, you know, think about whether you're maybe 
a bit closed off or whether your guards are somehow up a bit too often. And um, yeah, so it's definitely important for you to trust in your talents in these changing times as I sense that there is a lot of change going on in your life. But as already mentioned earlier, your guardian angel is here to protect you and is here to tell you that you're not alone. And all you need to do is trust and believe in yourself as well as find that balance that you need in order to truly take the lead and take charge with your life. So that is the reading that I get for group number two. Okay, group number three, let's see what's going on with your current week. Okay, so we have the Tiger Eye and the Seraphinite. So one thing that I see in your current week is that honesty is something that is increasingly important and honesty is something that I feel like you need to seek out from somebody or maybe even seek out from yourself. So maybe there's been a sticky situation in your life where you feel like somebody hasn't been completely honest with you or somebody hasn't been telling you the entire truth and you know that could also have to do with yourself you know have you been fully telling somebody you know the complete truth or have you been letting leaving sort of little bits of information out that you know you maybe shouldn't have been leaving out and i see that this week is really a week where you know you're going to get new information from somebody or you're going to want to give new information that all has to sort of do with honesty and that all has to do with sort of cleaning the slate so i definitely see this week as a week of sort of getting real with yourself i see that you also need to be honest with yourself and what it is that you want in life and um yeah so i definitely feel like maybe you've been at a crossroads and maybe you just need to tell yourself you know i either want to study this or i want to start working for myself i want to do my own sort of business venture maybe you want to finally go for love maybe you want to finally start dating again these are all things where you need to be honest with yourself and where you need to come to terms with you know just telling yourself the truth telling yourself how it is and in the tiger eye i see that being sort of connected to your instinct and just sort of relating to the animal kingdom when it comes with when it comes to honesty is going to be greatly beneficial so it's very important for you to sort of go with your instinct so if you feel like there's something that you want but it's hard for you to express it just be honest with yourself just remind yourself you know you are being honest and you're doing what is best for you by just saying like, hey, actually, I want to go for this, or actually, I feel like I'm ready to start my own business, I feel like I'm ready to date again, whatever that it is, it's important for you to go with your instinct and what your gut feeling tells you is right this week. In the direction, Guardian, I can see that life is going to give you choices, life is going to allow you to choose your path and sort of choose where you want to head so in life we always come to different crossroads where we can sort of re-choose our paths if you will and i definitely see that being the case for you this week so you're going to have maybe a bigger maybe not a, a hugely you know important decision but either way you're going to be able to sort of redirect your life a little bit and um in order to choose the right path for you as we already spoke about you know you have to be honest and you have to go with that gut feeling so that is definitely the advice that i have for you for this week then in the arrow i feel like it's important for you to surround yourself with positive energy which means you know positive people so anybody who doesn't support you who doesn't support your dreams your aspirations the things that you feel are right for you maybe they're not the best people to have around at this point in your life as i see that you may be in a sort of difficult spot where you have to give things a bit of space where you have to give ventures a little bit of time to watch their seeds grow and that is what i see in the spring that has showed up in your reading um, in order to just sit back and watch sort of your hard work blossom and watch things grow for you it's important for you to stay positive and to protect that positive energy so anyone who is not 
facing in the direction of supporting your ventures and of supporting your seeds, so to say, that you sowed. Um, I know this sounds really weird, but you guys always get it. Um, so if, if anyone is not pointing in that direction, it might be time to sort of choose the path of just going solo for a little bit and not necessarily including that person just because you want positive energy around you only right now as that is increasingly important. And in the shapeshifter, I can see that you need to sort of unveil your gifts a little more, which tells me that you need to just let yourself be who you are. You have to transform sometimes and you have to sometimes just make the best of what has been given to you. So maybe recently you've been setting these sort of weird limitations for yourself where you feel like you'll wear that amazing dress or you'll give yourself that amazing treat once you've lost five kilograms or you'll finally start your own business as soon as you have more time. Whatever it is, I see that maybe you've been sort of making these conditions up for yourself about what needs to happen before you can take the next step. And it's important for you to choose the path of positivity, to choose to just take the next step without these weird sort of thoughts holding you back. And it's important for you to just transform out of the space where you feel like life needs to be at a certain point in order for you to take the next step. So I want you to get out of that space to transform out of any sort of thoughts that may be restricting you because that will help you to unveil your gifts and that will bring you a lot further this week. You know, as spring suggests, you may take a really big leap forward in your personal life or your career as long as you allow your mind and your path to be transformed by the shapeshifter. So that is the reading that I get for group number three for this week. Okay, group number four, let's see what's happening in your life this week. So we have the bloodstone as well as the clear quartz. So what I instinctively see in the bloodstone, which is connected to the heart and sacral chakra is that Detoxing would be very beneficial for you this week. So I definitely want you to look at different ways that you can detox. Maybe not just the traditional ways with food and nutri nutrition. Maybe also look into detoxing as in, you know, just not being on your electronics so much, not sort of being on the internet as often. Detoxing as in getting out into the nature, trying out different things just without sort of any distractions. And that is where the clear quartz comes in, into play. Because in the clear quartz, I can see that meditation is something that may help you detox. Well, at least, you know, the universe thinks very strongly that this is something that may be beneficial to you this week to detox in the form of meditating and being mindful. So next time you're sort of sitting down with a meal or a nice beverage, um, it could even be now. If you are eating something or drinking something while you're watching this video, maybe just pause and just sort of focus on the texture of your food. Focus on the smell of the beverage. Focus on how does it feel on your tongue? How does it feel sort of going down your throat? Be mindful, be in the moment, because oftentimes we're doing two things at once, especially if we're, for instance, eating or doing something else. Um, when we combine two tasks at one, one of the tasks sort of just whisks by us without us properly experiencing it. And um, yeah, just the example of food is easy for you to sort of picture, but detoxing can work in any form of meditation for you this week or any sort of non-conventional form. So definitely focus on detoxing as well as, you know, seeking advice from somebody who is older than you, from somebody who sort of knows more about the world than you do or who has been through more than you have. So I definitely feel like maybe you've been having a hard time with your family or you sort of feel a bit of pressure from your family and that may have to do with your family's history with sort of ancestral patterns. And I want you to know that you shouldn't feel pressured. You should not feel like you have this 
image to hold up or that you owe anyone anything because this is your life, this is your choice and you need to know that you are loved no matter what. And in the wise one, I can see that your current situation may be a situation that you can't get out of really easily or really quickly. So you're kind of needing to make the best of the situation, which is why the wise one is telling you to grow within your current situation. So if you're maybe working a job that you don't absolutely love, or you're sort of in school and you wish you were doing something else, you wish you were working, but you can't really get out of this course or you know this study path that you're on, it's important for you to know that it is still possible for you to grow within your current situation. It's still possible for you to make the best of yourself and to become more than you ever thought possible. And you just need to make time for it and you just need to believe. As in the shaman, I can see that you must trust in higher forces and you must trust in the fact that there is so much out there for you. You know, you don't need to limit your life to what you think is possible. Once you do that, then it's going to be exceedingly difficult to sort of break any patterns, any negative patterns. It's going to be difficult to move beyond your current limitations. But I want you to remember that limitations are just in your head, or at least 99% of them are. As you know, if you just grow within your current situation and make the best of where your life is right now, um, you're going to be able to achieve far more than you ever thought possible. And when your situation actually changes, you're going to feel so powerful as you were able to make the best of a situation that you first thought would not get better or would not be in your favor for a long time. So as the sage showed up in your reading, I want you to know that the sage is trying to tell you to really be devoted and committed this week. Really commit to your dreams and sort of transforming your thought process as well as detoxifying from any sort of stresses and taking time to really be present and in the moment be it with meditation or just sort of you know focusing on what is going on each minute of the day each hour of the day maybe even start just writing down just little thoughts each hour of the day try it for a day and see what you've written down by the end of the day so yeah for this week i definitely see you sort of being very committed and devoted to growing within your situation and transforming your situation will truly help you get to the next level as well as you know keeping a positive mindset and making sure that you detoxify yourself of any energy draining substances people situations in your life so yeah that is the reading that i get for group number four for your current week